Now I've never done a video on bison burgers, but we eat them all the time. We actually eat bison meat quite often just because it is delicious and it's actually quite healthy for you as well. Every time I do post a picture on my other social medias, Facebook and Instagram, someone usually says bison burgers are always dry for me. And I don't really understand that because I've never had a dry bison burger. But I'm gonna show you how I like to make bison burgers. I'm gonna keep it super simple. It's just going to be the bison meat, a little secret ingredient, salt, cheese, and whatever fixings I wanna add. I'm gonna keep that simple too. So let's go make our burger balls and then we'll jump on the Camp Chef griddle and get cooking. We're not even working with anything fancy here. This is just Walmart ground bison. Now this is one of the things that I love to do with my ground bison. Get it all up in this bowl and it's not even anything fancy really. Just gonna take an egg. Give it a little smackaroo, and we're gonna go ahead and mix that up. Just one egg yolk, that's all I add. No big deal. Now, another big secret is don't over mix, okay? You never wanna form tight burger balls, ever, ever. Okay, so I'm gonna make a couple smash burgers out of this one pound. Break them in half, break them in half again. All right, there's four burger balls for two for two double smash burgers. But I'm gonna pull a little of each and make one baby burger. We're gonna get started on the griddle now. Now my griddle's sitting at about 275 degrees and I'm gonna hit it with some oil and we're gonna brown our buns up before we get to the burgers. I like to do a lot of oil. When I'm toasting my buns, let them, let them soak up that oil, you know? Nothing fancy, just a snooty little brioche bun. Also from Walmart, no big deal. Push them down into the griddle. All right, it's been a couple minutes, our buns should be good. Oh yes, perfect. Oh yes, you can't ask for better than that. Mm-hmm, lovely. And we're four for four. That doesn't always happen. Now that our griddle's sitting at about 375 degrees, it's time to do some burger ball action. Now I always like to let my balls sit on the griddle for just a little bit before I smash them in. Now normally I don't use parchment paper, but since we've got egg yolk in our burger, that uh, provides a little extra stickiness to the paddle. Once you get used to just smashing down and sliding your paddle, your burger press, off of your burgers, you really don't need these anymore. But like I said, with the egg yolk in there as an added element of stickiness, we're going to use it today. This is the made-in burger press, and this thing is just a beast. Hit of a salt. Like I said, we're not doing anything crazy here. We're just making delicious bison smash burgers. And there's really nothing to it. All right, I think we're ready to flip. All right, as soon as you flip, add your cheese. Could have gone with a little bit of a better crust there, but I don't think my griddle was hot enough. So let that be a lesson to you. Get your griddle a little hotter. All right, let's stack them up. That residual heat will help them continue melting. Baby burger gets a bun. One double gets a bun, and the other one gets no bun. We're going to go with some Dijon. Pickles. Monster pickles. And I like it. Here's our burger. And a little Duke's mayo. Lovely. Time to bite it. It's so juicy. That's a delicious, <clears throat> whoa. <laughs> That's a delicious bison burger. Super juicy, super flavorful. The right kind of toppings, you don't have to go crazy with it. But that is a great way to make a bison burger. I appreciate you, see you next time.